My name is John Bridle and uh, I'm a biologist in the School of Biological Sciences at the University of Bristol. I think it's important that we're mostly dealing initially with climate scientists in terms of understanding what um, the likely rates of change are going to be, the sort of average changes across years in temperature and how that's being forced by greenhouse emissions. And so understanding the, the mechanism by which the climate is changing is very important. But even if, even if we have a great deal of certainty of, an, of exactly how much the temperature is going to likely to change in the next 50 years, the upper and lower bounds of that, we still know remarkably little about how those changes are going to affect populations of organisms and communities and ecosystems. And I think although the idea of tsunamis and, uh, and storms and floods looms very large in the public imagination, most people's experience of climate change is going to be by the way it affects food security, the way it affects ecosystems and organisms. The sort of genomics revolution has allowed us to study organisms in the wild and actually look at how the genetic basis of the variation that affects their fitness in natural populations. And there's been some fantastic studies that have been done on that. Really, from a biological point of view, it's like we've just discovered the telescope.